Hey everybody, Angie B here. So this time of year, I start thinking about losing the winter weight that I put on. Every year my body does this. Every year I put on five to six pounds and it's no big deal. I, I know my body's gonna do this. I know that my body just does better gaining that little bit of extra weight in the winter. And it's okay. It's a pain in the butt when I when spring comes around and I think, oh, I've got all this hard work, you know, to get the pounds off. But I can look back over the winter and say, well, this winter I really wasn't sick at all. I got sick maybe for like a few days. I had a cold and it was just no big deal. And I really attribute it to eating whatever I wanted, allowing my body to just tell me, eat this, don't eat that. You know, and I listened. I might have indulged a little much you know i gained closer to like nine pounds this winter instead of the five or six that's okay so but anyways the whole point of this is that this is the time of year i try and lose weight i think that new year's resolutions of trying to lose weight are just a really bad idea i think it's setting you up to get sick you don't want to cut calories in the middle of flu season i think that other things like if you're going to have a resolution, have a resolution of, I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to get better sleep. I'm going to work on my career. I'm going to do this. I'm going to work on my relationships. But not losing weight. Wait until the spring. You know, when you're just, the weather is telling you, come out, exercise, be outside. It just doesn't do that in the wintertime. Unless you want to be stuck in a gym and, you know, who wants to do that? So, anyways. The point of all of this is, I have found that over my history of gaining and losing weight, I have found that keeping a food diary is, a food diary is the biggest key. It's like the secret trick of losing weight for me. It has worked for years and years. Uh, my heaviest was 192 pounds and that was after I had my son Jupiter. That was when I was nursing him and I just couldn't, I just couldn't get a hang of, of nursing. I was ravenous all the time. My comfortable weight, the weight where you know, if you ask me, what do you want to weigh? I remember one of my midwives asked me that she, when I was, after I had Milo, she said, what, how, how much do you want to weigh? And I said, well, my comfortable weight, the weight where I can walk across the room and see myself in the mirror and think, oh, cool. I look good. You know, I can still look in the mirror and say, well, I'd kind of like to see improvement in these areas, but it's not something where every time I look at in myself in the mirror and I catch a glimpse, it's not something where I think, oh God you know, I really don't, I, I weigh too much and my clothes don't fit. And even if it's just a little bit, and that's kind of where I'm at now. I, I notice that I look at myself and I think, gosh, I really want to make a change and my clothes don't fit the way I would like them to. I try not to think, you know, all the negative thoughts of, oh, I'm fat because well, I'm not really fat, but I have fat on me that I would like to not have there anymore. So my fitness pal is the food calorie counting app that I use and I think it's fantastic because you can get it on uh, Android phones iPhone and you can um, access your account which is free the whole thing's free and it's free apps for the iPhone and Android uh, but you can also access it on your browser on just your desktop PC and it'll sync them all up so you can use all of them and that's what I do because I have all three so when you first go on to my fitness pal it asks you to put in your weight your height your current weight and height um, and your goals, how, you know, how much you want to lose, if you want to stay the same, if you want to gain, lose, stay the same, and then how much you know, do you want a pound, pound and a half, two pounds, and then it calculates and it tells you how many calories that you're supposed to have a day. Now, when you first start out, if you've never done this before, and if you've had a hard time and you're really wanting to lose weight, the first step is to put in your information and then put, keep your weight the same. And that way, your focus for the first week, even two weeks, I would give yourself two weeks just in case. But the first two weeks is just to get the hang of writing down every morsel, every piece of food, everything, everything that goes down your throat hole has to go in your food diary. And that's kind of hard at first. I mean, it's, it's, it's something that you have to create a habit out of doing, and that's tough. I mean, you'll find that the first couple days you're like, damn, I forgot to put this food in, you know. So what's wonderful about it being on your phone is that you can just pull it out and it's right there. I've done old school diaries and it was a real pain because then you had to kind of guess or you had to find out how many calories foods have them. Well, the apps already have it in there. So when you put your food in, you get a list of all of these different foods. Like if I put in, you know, I ate um, 
chicken. I ate chicken breast. It'll it'll give you weights and it'll give you, or I'm sorry, ounces and it'll give you just this whole range. And so you can find out, you know, from this list and you can pick. There, it, it just takes a lot of the the guesswork out of it for you. It makes it super easy. So some things that you'll want to have, which you want for your kitchen anyways, um, but a good set of measuring spoons, a good set of measuring cups, and a kitchen scale. I got the measuring spoons and measuring cups from Target. They were really inexpensive. They don't have to be anything fancy. Just plain old stuff. Uh, my kitchen scale, I don't know how much those cost. I got my kitchen scale at an estate auction. So I have no idea. We got it for like five bucks. I mean, it might have even been a dollar. <laughs> you know, it was an auction. So, but it works. And it works good enough. It may need to be recalibrated, but it's close enough. So the first couple of weeks, the first couple days in particular, don't be too hard on yourself. Know that it's going to be hard. It's hard to do something and to create that habit. But you will thank yourself for it because after you look through your day, the app gives you pie charts and graphs and it gives you the daily, but then you can also look at what you ate over the week and it'll show you on graphs, you know, where you were um, based on your goals. You know, were you this far over? Were you this far under? You can also... Um, you can also put in how much you exercised and it has a nice list, a nice list of all of the exercises. You can also just add in calories and say what it is you did. So like if you have a Garmin or something and you know how many calories that you burned or, you know, heart rate monitor, whatever you have that you know that you burned that many calories, you can put that in. And it just, it gives you all of this information. And so you can look back at the end of the day, the end of the week, whatever, and see what you need to move around what you need to switch it up. You know, if you see, I ate two cookies today and not enough kale. I'd like to see more kale. Well, have your cookie, have one cookie, have half a cookie, and then add more kale in. I, I think that transferring calories is a better way to look at it than trying to look at it as, oh, I can't have that. It's not so much you can't have it. It's, I choose to have something else. I choose to have something else. That's, that's what it is. Have a bite. And, and assume that it was a quarter of a cookie, you know? If you just need to satisfy that sweet tooth, that's okay. It's good information, you're taking data. So, that's my, that's my secret, that's my tool, that's my tip to anybody who is wanting to lose weight and this is the time of year to do it, you know? It's, even though our, our weather is totally whacked out, it snowed yesterday, so, even though I still am feeling it in my bones that it's going to be time to go outside soon, you know, and I'll get to do all my stuff outside instead of being inside and gaining more weight. So, like this video, check out down in the description that I put in the MyFitnessPal app um, website, web address, so you can go and get it yourself, and you can just get the app on your iPhone or um, Android phone. And like this video, subscribe, share it, comment, tell me what you think. Tell me what your trick is, your tip, your experience with gaining and losing weight over the winter months and the spring. So take care, you guys. Thanks.